Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video we are covering Scriptless Social Sharing, a free sharing plugin on the WordPress.org repository. So I cover a lot of sharing plugins on this channel, mostly because there's such a large variety, and as you all know personally, my favorite is NovaShare. Um, as far as free plugins go, there's also good ones, Social Warfare, Social Pug, and Scriptless Social Sharing is another popular and extremely lightweight option. As the name implies, there is no JavaScript used by the plugin, which is a major advantage, especially if you're worried about your mobile performance. However, there are some trade-offs compared to something like NovaShare, and we will talk about this plugin in its entirety starting now. So when you install the plugin, you get a couple of options, the buttons or icon style. You could choose to use an SVG or a web font. My recommendation is if you ever have the option to use an SVG, you should use it. However, if your website already loads a web font file, so let's say you have Font Awesome already loaded, you will probably get better performance by solely using the web font file because you already have it loaded on your website. And as it mentions here, you can load Font Awesome by checking this option. My general recommendation is um, use SVG when you can, but if you're already using the web font and it's a requirement for your design, then you might as well use it anyways because it's already being loaded. For this website, because it's not using a web font file, because it's just a standard storefront website, we're just going to go with SVG. For the button output, you can choose to modify the output. You could choose to use the icon, an icon plus text, which will hide the text on mobile screens, the icon and text, and always show the text, even for mobile devices, or text only. Personally, I'm a fan of the icon and text option. And with the hide text and mobile screen, primarily because you don't want to take up so much real estate on mobile devices with your icons. So this is a fairly good option. Under the style settings, you could choose to load the main style sheet, which is great if you need some basic styling. If you're rolling your own custom styles though, you can choose to disable the style sheet, which is honestly amazing. Most plugins just don't let you do this without the inclusion of something like Perf Matters or Asset Cleanup to take care of it. Um, you can also choose to load Font Awesome, and Font Awesome is a great open library of icons, but if you're using SVG, then by all means, continue to use SVG, and I wouldn't load Font Awesome just for the four or five icons that you're going to really need for your share buttons. That's just my opinion. For the button container CSS, you could just use a table layout or Flexbox. Always use Flexbox. It's just better in my opinion. <laughs> For the button container width, you could choose to do full width or auto. Um, these are just minor changes to the styling. Uh, I would go full width. You could choose to add a padding to the buttons, which is totally fine. Um, you could choose to include a heading. Personally, I don't think headings do much, so I'm turning it off. You could choose the following buttons to enable, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, email, Reddit, WhatsApp, Telegram, and SMS should only load for mobile devices and uh, pockets will load for desktop users as you expect it. Um, what I would do is structure them in the way that makes the most logical sense. So most users are just going to use Facebook and then Twitter. And you can just do this in two ways. You could try to drag and drop it, which eh, this is kind of finicky. So trying to drag and drop these does not, it, it's not just me not being able to, it's just not working. And this is a fairly lim thin site with not many plugins on here except for the default WooCommerce. You could try and get it in the right space, but really what you're going to want to do is just put the numbers. So I want my Facebook one to be number one, Twitter number two, Pinterest three, number four is LinkedIn. I would make Reddit number six, and then Pocket is number seven. That looks fine to me. Personally, I wouldn't even bother with email. So I would just go like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Content types, you can choose which types of content the buttons will share on by post type, and it will only show public facing post types, which just makes sense. Uh, by default, you could just choose your post and it will display after the content. That's totally fine. There's a short code implementation, but I try to recommend you don't use those, uh, primarily because adding the short code has the negative side effect of if you don't stop using this plugin, you now have to remove that short code if you add it to a lot of posts, you're just gonna get down that rabbit hole. Um, you could choose to add it for pages. I don't know why you would want to, but by all means, you're able to. And for products, you can add it after the content and before the content. I'm gonna show you what this looks like, just for the sheer curiosity. 
Uh, for the Twitter handle, make sure to include your Twitter handle here so that way it will include at your website uh, or your Twitter handle so that way you gain some traction on social media. You can choose to include the email subject and this is going to basically be, the email subject will be a string of text and then it's going to be appended before the title of the post. That's automatically included. And the email content will always include the link of the, to the post. You could choose also for Gutenberg to disable the sharing buttons block, but we're not going to do that. Okay. So now that we've enabled it, let's go ahead and sh show you what this looks like. So we're first of all gonna view this post right here. And these are what the buttons look like. They're very attractive looking buttons. They look visually fine. Uh, if anybody's noticed something though, as you'll see, I have Facebook as one, Twitter is two, three, four, five, and it's showing in the incorrect order. Now it's just showing in the correct order. There's probably a transient that's saving it, it just didn't clear, so I wouldn't expect that on your own site. But these buttons look really good. Um, correct icons, correct brand colors, and all the icons are up to date, including that Twitter one. So this looks really good for a post. And I will try to show you what happens when you go on a mobile device. So you go in here, you open up these dev tools, and we're gonna set it to a Galaxy S5, scroll down, and look at that. They are now just the icons. That looks amazing. The developer did a really good job with styling these buttons and they feel very nice and modern. I would I'd say very good job to them. Now for the other integration, which is gonna be with your products. Uh, obviously this is a WooCommerce theme and you wanna know how this is gonna look like on WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is a bit interesting. The actual content is going to be the larger description area. So right now it's showing before the content, you would probably want it to show after content, which would be after this. And it looks okay. Um, it looks fine. I wouldn't complain about it, but if you notice one interesting bit of info was the Pinterest button is showing here, but it wasn't showing on the individual post. I wouldn't take anything from it. I'm just gonna toss it up to being something interesting with the configuration of the theme. But the real takeaway here is, I don't know if these visually look good for a store, but they definitely look good for your blog post. And they're super lightweight. Uh, we can go ahead and look at the amount of CSS that it loads. So the scriptless sharing buttons, first of all, it adds some inline CSS. This is the main style sheet that it asks if you want to load. That's really small. And one of it is just the media print query that says display none. If they really wanted to, they could load this with a uh, as a separate style sheet, but that would just be silly. And then you can find the actual buttons down here. And again, visually, they look fine and they're super lightweight. Absolutely no complaint. And all the way down here is where you'll find the actual inline SVGs. So it takes an approach very similar to NovaShare. It loads all the icons as inline SVGs and it has a very small amount of CSS, no JavaScript, and NovaShare does have JavaScript because it allows users to enable the sharing, the share counter functionality. There is no share counter in here, but personally, I don't like share counters, and I think a lot of users would also agree with that. So if you're looking for something that has the type of performance that you would get out of NovaShare, but doesn't have some of this quite feature set, this is a good option. This is going to be faster than Social Pug but it's not gonna have the same feature set as social as a Nova share. It's not gonna have the same features that you get in social warfare either. And even though we covered it and the pro version, those are much bulkier plugins. They're not so bulky that I would say that they're gonna be a major concern from a performance standpoint, but if you're really trying to minimize the total amount of assets that you're loading, this does a really good job. I wish that there was an integrated Pinterest pin it button on images. Uh, I know Social uh, NovaShare recently added it. I haven't covered it yet in the video, but I do wish that they added it. It can be done without that much effort, but it's something that does add a lot of value, especially to blogs that are very image heavy. Overall, I would say that this is a great option. If it fits your styling and you just need simple share buttons, and you don't need to style them, and you think that these visually fit your brand and your message that you're trying to communicate, I would use these. 
but if you're trying to get a little bit more feature set and you want to have some additional share buttons, you could go with something like Social Pug. If you really like Social Warfare and you want to go with the Pro version, obviously you'll use Social Warfare. And if you just want a good mix of all of them, Nova Share is a great option. But this is definitely a recommended plugin if you're just looking for run of the mill, nice looking share buttons that are lightweight. And this plugin checks all the boxes. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to ask. I will answer them as best I can. Otherwise, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.